Amnesty International. Three uh, minutes. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson, for this opportunity. In this statement, Amnesty International highlights the issue of ensuring rights and justice for survivors of conflict-related sexual violence in Ethiopia and South Sudan. Contrary to the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, its protocol on the rights of women in Africa, and the African Commission's guidelines on combating sexual violence and its consequences in Africa, sexual violence in the two countries continues to be perpetrated due to an entrenched culture of impunity. Honorable Chairperson, in Ethiopia, grave human rights violations, including sexual violence, have been a defining element of the conflict in northern Ethiopia since its outbreak in November 2020. Multiple forms of sexual violence, including rape, gang rape, sexual slavery, sexual mutilation and torture, have been perpetrated against women and girls by Ethiopian government forces, their allied militias, and by the Eritrean forces that have been fighting alongside the Ethiopian military. Similarly, the Tigrayan forces have committed grave human rights violations, including sexual violence against women and girls in Amhara and Afar regions. Honorable Chairperson, Ethiopian officials have acknowledged the existence of sexual violence in the ongoing conflict, but have failed to take concrete measures to prevent the atrocities and to punish the, uh, the perpetrators. In South Sudan, Honorable Ch Chairperson, sexual violence has been and continues to be a persistent feature of the conflict that broke out in the country on 15th December 2013. Perpetrators include government security actors, non-state armed groups, militias, and armed and unarmed men. Guns are used to facilitate the commission of conflict-related sexual violence by threatening women and girls to comply. Despite the adoption in January 2021 of a joint action plan for the armed forces on addressing conflict-related sexual violence in South Sudan, impunity for this violence remains the norm. Conflict-related sexual violence survivors, witnesses, judicial actors, as well as civil society members working on conflict-related sexual violence are left unprotected and exposed <laughs> to threats and harassment by suspected Thank perpetrators. Thank you, Mr. Jaffet. Uh, Amnesty International calls on the African Commission Honorable Chairperson to issue a public statement or resolution condemning the prevalence of conflict-related sexual violence in South Sudan and Ethiopia. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.